I am playing Genshin right now. I don't want to admit it, but I can't really not beat these allegations. However, but I am a whale in this game. I know, I know. Throw your tomatoes, whatever the. F but I spent a lot of money on this game. Like I'm not even gonna hold it to you. Like I've spent quite a lot. I've have pretty much. I've gotten close to collecting um almost all the units at a time. However, I've been on a break late, uh, lately. I've kind of been on and off with this game. So it's not like I've been really going at it consistent. The last time I only needed one character, I legit only needed uh, Yelan. She was the only character I needed at, at, a, at a certain point. And then, of course, more characters got released. And then it ended up only being Yelan and uh, Nahida. And then, of course, with Fontaine and all these new characters is where I kind of started to just been on and off playing this game. However... Me being a whale and me being the fact that I spent quite a lot of money on this game doesn't it it doesn't really show for it. I consider my I don't even consider myself like a true whale because most of my characters aren't really built. Like a good majority of them, as you can see, are still practically level one. I have so many characters and they're not even properly built. They're still at level one. Some of these are just half built. Like I wanted to build um new roulette. I wanted to use him so bad, so I tried to rush him, and I never did. Same thing with Hu Tao. I know people are going to get mad for me not using Hu Tao. Xing Cho as well, being kind of on the lower end, not even properly built. I know people are going to give me hate for Raiden Shogun, bruh. Having, that, having her at level 70, and yet I have P Kokomi over... Nah, like, you know. My account is a mess. It's a mess. There's no other way to put it. It is a mess, but I want to fix it. I want to actually start getting serious playing this game, and I do want to fix my account. I spent so much money wailing on these characters that I like, and I haven't put in any thought or time to truly dedicate myself to like leveling up these characters. There are a few characters which I will get into that are somewhat built or they're even there's a character that I can consider that I built somewhat perfect at least in my eyes to my standard but still but that's enough yapping I guess we're just gonna run down my account this is just gonna be like a way for me to look back into in the future just to see how far I've gotten and just to see if I made any major improvements along the way but for starting I'm gonna start with the team that I have at the moment right now I was in the midst of building Navia. I managed to get lucky with her. I didn't spend any money for her at all. I actually saved up um, enough wishes and I managed to get not only her uh, herself as C0 of course because typically whenever I pull for a 5 star I try to just go for just one unit. I'm, I'm not really big into constellations. I'm not that crazy as a whale. I just want to do bare minimum, just get their char just get the character and if I really like them, if I see like if I find me truly enjoying them, then I will whale for the weapon. Or sometimes I just get them both cuz it looks cool. From that, I managed to get her pretty uh, I'm not I don't really remember how close. I don't, I'm not sure if it was an early pity or just pity, but I managed to win my 50/50. I got her, and of course, I managed to get her weapon, her best in slot, the verdict. But for starters, let's go. She's at le currently level 80, 90. She's one of the most recent characters that I actually managed to build, but she's still not finished building yet. I want her to. I want to max her out at 90. Her stats right now are, as you can see, over 2K for flat attack, which I, f I find that to be pretty decent. Uh, she's at 48 over 195 she still needs improvement because typically i for my main dps's i kind of want to get to the point where i can get them to at least 5200 is kind of where i want to go for for like at least 5200 or as close as i get can get to like a, a really good one to two ratio uh ratio her er is 130 but it's I, it's pretty low i wish it was kind of higher than that but considering that her crit rate and crit damage are the way it is i i'm not complaining 
Um, her artifact set, it is on what I, uh, I guess from what I've seen is her best in slot. Yeah, from yeah, it's her, her best in slot artifact set. Um, as you can see, there's still level five piece. Like I still have to finish building some. And yeah, my artifacts luck isn't even that good. I could barely build any character based on my luck alone. But I'm getting there. I still have to finish building her up. Um, hopefully I can finish this one or at least get better pieces because this is just cope. I'm just doing this based on the crit rate. I am hoping I can get more crit ro uh, crit rolls. And this just so happens to be the only onset with the uh, geo damage bonus on it. So I'm just going to use that as for a cope uh, piece at the moment. Her talents is 161. I haven't leveled them up yet. I still need to. I, I'm still in the process of that, essentially. But uh, I want to max her out, of course. But that's about it. She's been so fun to play as. I've been really enjoying her. And I kind of want to keep playing her. And I know she's going to be one of the teams that I want to dedicate time to. Next up is going to be, obviously, Hydro Archon. Her HP is on the lower end. I kind of wanted to reach that peak, at least that sweet spot of, like, 38 to, like, 40, potentially, so I can get max stacks. But it's okay. She's at 1,200 for a flat attack, and then, of course, 5,200, which I feel like this is kind of the best that I can get at the moment. But eventually, I kind of want to upgrade her HP or, in the course, level her up to 90. I also got lucky when pooling with her as well because I skipped out on Risley, I think his name, or Jotaro. I skipped out on Jotaro for, so I can get uh, Farina. And not only did I get her, because I know she came out at the same time as along with Baiju. And keep in mind, I already, uh, I wanted to pull for, for both of them. And I got lucky that I managed to get not only a unit for Farina, I got lucky where I also got her weapon as well. I managed to also get him plus his weapon as well. So I managed to get all four items, won 50 50s. And when I lost my pity, I just got what I, it was just no losses. It was just all W's that entire pull sesh. And I couldn't be any happier than that because I wanted to upgrade both of these characters. But I do want to increase her HP. As, I, I want it to be more. Of course, as y'all saw, she's on her, her best in slot weapon. I still got to upgrade that to 90 as well, including her. C0, of course. Talent is 266. I'm going to upgrade them eventually, but but that's about it for her. Um, for Baiju, it's the same case. I feel like for Baiju, I don't, I'm not going to stress over him that much because, you know, he's, I'm going to just use him strictly for support. I managed to get him to over 40,000 uh, 40, for HP. Of course, crit rate, crit damage, but that's nothing really. I'm not going to use him for anything. Like I said, just pure support. I do want to increase his uh, energy recharge. So whenever I try to build him more to increase his HP to at least 50,000, I'll try to see if I can get some more ER, maybe some more EM or something. I don't know. Of course, his weapon, as y'all saw, best in slot. I've got to increase that one up to 90 as well. Artifact set is going to be in Deep Woods because support, and I kind of want to put him in other Dendro teams. I'm not going to use him really for like other crazy teams. And even then, I'm not a bit like uh, a big stickler over like artifact sets like that. So I'm probably just going to give him a one and done set and just keep him on deep uh, memories regardless of what team I put him in. And of course, C0. Talents, I got him at 366. Of course, I'm going to max him out eventually. Next up, I got Albedo. Albedo is at level 80. I mean considering that he scales off defense i feel like it could be more but beto isn't really built it's one of those characters that i haven't really gotten the chance to build him like that i got his event weapon from i don't even know how long ago that was but i managed to actually get that one i didn't manage i didn't get the festering desire he's on two piece two piece because i was in the middle of building him but i didn't manage to like finish him i just put him in a little I wouldn't even call it a niche spot. It's just something to man, to get him by, really. Talents, we're looking at 253, and of course, C0. Yomiya. Yomiya was the first character I ever wailed on. 
I not only wailed on her herself, but I wailed on her weapon as well. And for Yomiya, I actually it took me so long to eventually um to eventually upgrade her the way she is now, because at this current moment, Yomiya is obviously maxed out at level ninety. She has over two k flat attack. Her scale, she's this is where I, I kind of consider her as one of my perfect units because she has that 56 210 where I kind of want to go. I want that 50 200. And of course, you saw Farina being the same way uh, as well. She's one of the other characters that I also consider uh, perfect, but she's not fully built because at least with Yomiya, I managed to max her out on everything. I got her to level 90 and her weapon to level 90, and which again, I wailed on her weapon as well as you can see. and. Her artifact set is obviously her Shiminawa uh, Reminiscence. I, it took me quite a while, but I managed to get her to where I want her to be. And of course, 888. She's not perfect to the T because I have yet to get her to her talents up to level 9. Because I'm kind of a completionist as well. So as much as I don't want to waste my resources on uh, characters that I know that don't deserve it, but on characters that kind of do deserve it, like Yomiya, because she's a main DPS, I do want her, her talents to be up to at least as max as I can get without crowning it yet. So I'm going to do her to all uh, level 9s. Zhao. Zhao is the next one on the list. And Zhao is my favorite character. He was the first 5 star that I really wished for like that when he first came out i remember i would see leaks about his gameplay and i would get so excited and i just i wanted to play zhao so bad before he got released and i actually managed to win my one of my first 50 50s and i got zhao for it and ever since then i man i wanted to use zhao as my main and man as much as i love zhao and what do you mean by that him being my main his build is unfortunately not where I want it to be. As you can see, it's 18 attack. I want it to be 2k. He has that 1 to 2 ratio or like 60 to even like 50. But I want it to be at least 50 to 100. And of course, ER can do. I'll see what I can do with that. Of course, C0. I got his best in slot weapon. He's missing an artifact. No wonder. Oh my god. Don't see that. Yeah. I, I hate to admit it, but yeah. He has a four piece. He does have a four piece, and he is my main, unfortunately. I don't really use him like that anymore because of, you know, other characters that I have been playing with and uh, you know, having more fun with because they've just been. Some of the characters that they've been releasing, I've been just enjoying so much with. But regardless of what. Yeah, this is more like where his build is usually is whenever I play him. 74 to 163, but again, it just could be higher. Like, I want him to truly be... He deserves more, essentially. His talents are at level 999. I, do, I did manage to max at least his talents up, but all that's left is just really trying to get better artifacts because... I, I need to treat him right. He does not deserve the mistreatment that I've had on him. Before I've had any good weapons in my beginning days of playing um, Genshin, he was on Crescent Pike. He was on this one right here. Right here. Still level 40. I have yet to touch this piece of... I had a level 40 Crescent Pike on Zhao in my early days of playing Genshin. And it's it was bad i couldn't beat anything i had a friend of mine join me just so he can help me beat bosses it was horrible next up is i'll hate them i'll hate them i'm not gonna lie Wait. was one of my favorite units playing coming out i had so much playing uh i have so much fun playing as i'll hate them he's one of the care one of the other characters that i i actually dedicated my uh, a good bit of time for i actually pre-farmed for him and i managed like whenever i first got him i pretty much leveled it, um, uh, leveled him up as far as I possibly could. And of course he's at level 90, he's at 19 uh, attack and 5200, however, I'm not sure if you guys already saw that, but his EM, EM is 166. I got his best in slot weapon of course, but 80 should be 90. I got his four piece gilded, but I don't have essentially Dendro damage, I don't got that. 
I don't have him on EM. Like, he's just essential. I just put those as stat sticks because that 5200 and he just he deals a lot of damage regardless of what. But he's one of the other characters that I really want to just upgrade to make sure that he's at his peak. And of course, talents, all six. If they're not at nine, because most of these are not going to be at nine besides the ones that I already showed. But most of these are just going to be at six as cap because that's where I want to leave it at before I fully max them out. Next up is Bennett. Of course, Bennett at 90. And yeah, attack 19. It could be 2K. Crit rate, crit damage. Of course, it's ER. Uh, you know, standard Bennett stuff. He just could be better. I want to upgrade him more. Quilvia Favonia right there. Level 80, of course. I ain't touching that. That's for sure. And then talents, standard stuff, just the same old, same old thing. Like none of my characters are truly impressive besides like the one I like Farina, Yomiya, or like just characters like those. Um, John Lee, John Lee, level eighty, not even at ninety. His wine his HP is at thirty six. It could be but much higher. I mean, Baiju has anything. higher HP than my Jean Lee. Can you believe that? That is insane. I have him on Staff of Homa. Of course, 80 instead of 90. Artifact set. I feel like I could do so much better than what I got with this. But again, it's just my account. It's just bad. It's just bad. There's no other way to put it. Talents. I got 2, 8, 5. It's just bad. Like, for a Jean Lee build, yeah, of course he's tanky. But, like, I just want him to have that 40 HP sweet spot. Or I might give him, like, some type of hybrid build so he can deal out, like, a lot of damage. But I don't know. I consider, even though I spent money on this game and there's been moments where I was truly dedicated to it, I just feel like, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm still a, a beginner. I feel like I'm still, some like, a noob when it comes to this game course next up is going to be wander i got him at 80 he's another character that i really enjoy i managed to actually level him up pretty decently I, f I consider him another one of my perfect units he still needs to have that 2k sweet spot but he's 40 200 i mean it's close to where i want him to be and of course whenever i level him up his cr uh his ascension thing is like crit rate so it's going to be close to there whenever i possibly can and then of course his what his best in slot weapon talents we're looking at of course all six his artifact set i managed to like farm for, for this one this one was a pain in the farm but i managed to do it of course he he still has his upgrades that he needs to do kazuha man of course kazuha his em is very very lackluster but he still does his damage that he possibly can i have i lost my pity to this weapon so i had no other choice but to use it on on uh, kazuha which isn't a bad thing i shouldn't be complaining but still like i that's just abysmal like i don't know just my my whole account i got four six six on talent it's just my account is just bad it's just bad like this bothers me so much like, these are just a few characters. Like, after we get to, like, here, or not even then. Like, after we stop to the, with the level 80s, or even some of them, there's no reason for me to continue on. Because none of these characters are built. Because, like I said, they're still at level 1. They have no artifact sets or anything. Like, even the level 20s, like, nothing. It's just, it's just sad. It's just so sad. All of these characters, like... Like potential characters that I really wanted to use is I wanted to use Hu Tao. I want to use Mona. Of course, there was a time where I really wanted to use Ito. Like I wanted to use him so bad, and I even managed to pull for his weapon as well. And that is at level one, and he himself is at level one. But I'm getting way too ahead of myself right now. Next up was Jean. Jean is level eighty. Over 2k in attack isn't bad. Crit rate, crit damage just could be better. ER is at 200% for some strange reason. Oh, well, that makes sense. I have her as Skyward Blade. Art uh, artifact set, of course, with uh, Verdescent. Why would I not? However, again, it just could be better. Constellation for Jean is C1. I have her on C1. 
nothing more, nothing less. I don't think I, yeah, no, no, no. I just wanted to double check something. But, no, talents, we got her at 366. It's just standard stuff. She heals a lot for what I have her in, but I just, she just, she has more potential. More and more potential. Of course, Traveler, I don't really use Traveler. I only just level them up just because, you know, story moments. I have him in the Dendro just because, but, you know, it's just Traveler. There's no, nothing important. Boba Boy. Boba Boy was another one of those characters that um, I had fun playing. Like, actually really had fun playing with him. And, of course, over 2, uh, 2k tag. It's just decent stuff, but not good in any regard. I have him on the Primordial Jade Cutter, but I just wish I had his weapon. But I didn't manage to get it. Art I was I have his artifact set because, of course, farming for Zhao kind of made me get pieces for him as well but they're just somewhere else at the moment constellation zero of course and then talents at five six six and then kokomi kokomi was one of those characters that i made i tried my best to see where i could go with her like truly build her as a support that she is because i needed a healer so bad like i needed a healer but i kind of half asked her she doesn't really... I, bro, oh my god. Don't even get me started. I know y'all see that. I know y'all see that. R3. Donut. I lost my pity three times. Three times with this stupid donut. Because the first time I got this stupid donut... I'm not... I don't even remember what banner she even came out. That one... Uh, the first time. But I just remember that I lost my... Uh, my pity for... Was it uh, Raiden? I think it, huh? I don't even know. But Dona was paired up with a weapon, and I lost my pity the first time, and I managed to get just one donut copy. But then, of course, with I forgot what other character. I think Baiju came out this as well, or with alongside her or something. Or there was another character that came out. It might have been Wander, but I lost my pity again and i got two more extra copies of the stupid donut so now it's at r3 which i shouldn't complain because it's still i guess an upgrade but still it's the donut and it's kokomi i, I have no complaints on kokomi herself but still it's no artifacts didn't farm for any uh, anything really <laughs> two three two there she's just not built child child we all know how many reruns this man has had over these years in Genshin's history. We know how many reruns this man has had so far. And up to a certain point, I've missed a good bit of his reruns by losing 50-50s and just managing to never never getting him. I never got lucky to get him. And I wanted him so bad because I thought it was so cool that he had the ability to change his weapon from like being a bow user to like you know, a staff and mm -hmm. his little blades, little daggers, you know, I just find that shit to be cool. And I wanted to use him. As you can see, I have him with his, I guess, best in slot weapon, Polar Star, if I'm not mistaken. I know some people say that Thundering Pulse, and of course, they got other options. But Polar Star, I have him with that weapon. Of course, I don't have anything on him. He's not built. And he has, of course, two because of his... Which was uh, which I'm gonna call it his fucking extension thing, and four two nothing too crazy. Just it's just one of those units that I wish I had properly built because I want to use him. He was one of those characters that I I wanted to use. Uh, Sucrose is one of those things where of course I have her built because I wanted to use her, but didn't manage to go anywhere with her. Do have her at C six of course. Most of my four stars I do have at C six so. I'm not really going to I'll show but I, I'm not gonna go like too into detail with all those of course 177 nothing too crazy Kaya Kaya course 114 constellation 2 I didn't man I man standard characters I don't have that many constellations for those it's kind of hard to really get them and I don't really buy them when they're at the shop if anything I kind of waste them for more wishes so I don't really use them for constellations for these characters, which I honestly should start doing. 
but weapon nothing too crazy this is just this was Ka uh, Kazuo's weapon before I gave it to him I think if I'm not mistaken of course he's at level 80 Fischl Fischl is one of those characters I where I do want to uh, upgrade her more paradise. because I, I managed to f I have I farmed for her thundering fury set but I really want to farm for her other uh, best in slot set the golden troop but I just haven't had any good luck with that. Re uh, really, I have her, of course, you know, 80 for stringless, herself at 80. And I just, I do want to make sure that she is one of the most broken units at uh, more support wise that I have on my team. Because I know that she has the potential to be so. But I just don't have the resources for that. Of course, talents at 397. Beto. She's one of those other characters that I, I would use with Zhao back in the early game, tactics, and I had so much fun using her, but I just never managed to properly build her, as you can obviously see. She's at 488. Oh my god. I know y'all are going to get mad for this one. Yep, y'all's pride and joy, Shang Ling, is not built. And as y'all saw earlier, I got no fish, no catch. I, I have not touched the fishing at all. Like, I barely touched them. Sorry, excuse me. If anything, I feel like I only like fish like two, three times. I tried to get the catch, but I just gave up on it because, man, fishing is such a pain in the ass. I don't want to do that. Chorus Constellation, C6. As I'm not sure if I saw with Fischl, she's also at C6. And then, of course, Beto at C6. Um, of course, her talent's at 255, but <laughs> she's not built at all. Next up is Sino. Sino was one of those other characters that I was mad hyped for. When I saw Zhao, I was already going insane for him. But then whenever I saw the trailer and I saw Sino and then of course with the whole manga thing with the with the Genshin thing or whatnot, and Sino appeared and I was just excited. I wanted Sino so bad. I wanted I just wanted him to be in the game like so early on. But at the time, and I feel like most other people can also agree, I feel like we were under the impression that Sino was a pyro user. Like, I was certain that this man was going to be a pyro unit. But, no, he ended up being an electro unit instead, which isn't bad. Uh, it's not bad at all. As you can see, I also pulled for his weapon as well. Of course, it's still at level 1. He himself is at level 70. And Constellation 0, and of course... Not bear no not even the talents leveled up but Sino was pretty fun to, it's pretty fun to use I like his uh his gameplay I like the fact that he just transformed into like some Anubis like creature and then just starts wrecking havoc like I find that to be hella cool and I really wanted to use him but of course he's not built next up is y'all's favorite Raiden Shogun oh, Raiden Shogun level 70 I know pretty bad still at 18k and over 200 obviously er but still she just could be so much better i have her in, in her best in slot weapon artifact set of course on emblem but again i just feel like it could be better c0 of course and then talents at two five six but still she could just be way better I know she can. She has. I've seen what her potential could be. It's just my account. It's just. Diluc level one talent as y'all saw, level seventy. Of course, he's not even on his right weapon. I do have two copies of these, but of course, one only one of them is just built. Constellation one, which even I am surprised. I have him. I see one. Talents, I have him all at level 1. Again, he's not built. Shing Cho, level 70. Got him in sack. Uh, of course, I got him at 255 and C6. Again, not built. Ito, as I showcased earlier, he's not built either. 
at this point we're just reaching characters that are not built at all like all of these following characters are obviously not built i'm gonna just quickly run down them and just show what they have i guess because some of them do have their best in slots some of them don't chi chi was one of my early uh game healers i managed she was probably my she was my first five star if i'm not mistaken and i used her a lot because she was the only consistent healing that i had and i had barbara as well but i didn't touch her like that like i just used chi chi because i just felt like her heals i don't know i just like the the freezing aspect of uh, that in the early game because whenever i would use Zhao, i would constantly just like use his e and then have people like you know get frozen around uh, around them so i would spam that as much as i possibly could of course i got mona oh uh man i don't i'm not like y'all that has bad chi chi luck i only got her at c2 and i know some of y'all have chi chi at like c10 it's just insane like i don't know how y'all has how that has happened for the amount of money that i've spent and the amount of 50 50s i've lost i haven't really gotten crazy with that and it's just I've been fortunate enough to not have a C10 Chi Chi. So, at least there's something good out of this. Of course, next up is Mona. Mona at level 60. Weapon, not nothing. No artifacts. I have Mona at C3. So, there's that. Um, talents. Oh, I got something leveled up at level 3. And Mona is just one of those characters not built. Hazel... Is one of those care another one of those characters that I was excited for and I wanted to build as fast as I can. But whenever I saw that Hazel shared these beetles with I believe Ito, Ito has those beetles as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. It immediately just made me not want to farm for him because at the time I wanted to farm for Ito. And I just gave up on both in the end, which is very unfortunate. I do have Hazel uh he's Hazel at uh c4 so he's close to getting there at c6 but there's that um i do have his e at level six apparently so I, there's that uh hu tao of course level one c0 of course the artifact as y'all saw earlier the um her best in slot you know staff of homa is with jean lee at the moment and of course 58 the Ching again not properly built Ching though is at c4 man Kaching is one of those units where i feel like i've lost most of my 50 50s on and she's i've just gotten unlucky with her because i'm i'm pretty sure Kaching was one of those five stars that got her own limited time banner if i'm not mistaken at a certain point and i think i was trying to wish for people say don't build pity but here my dumb ass is building pity and whenever i did that I managed to get her by accident so there's my first unit for Kaching. but I know she's a very fun unit to play as well like I've enjoyed the time that I got to spend with but still I can't complain new Valette is one of those characters that I really want to use like I really want to have him on my team but again don't have him properly built i did try to get for his artifact set but again he's just not he's just not built yeah that's pretty much it really like all the other characters as you can see are not built at all so there's just that but that's just pretty much it about for my characters there's a lot of things that i have to do for me to improve my account and there's just hopefully like i have yet to de fully decide who's going to be my first character that i want to actually dedicate myself to for i'm not sure how much time i'm going to give myself for me so i can like build these characters like truly properly build these characters but who knows i have yet to decide hopefully i can just maybe see if i can get y'all's opinion to see which character i should build first but character wise that seems to be it um weapons like i said before like i've wailed on not only characters but on weapons as well uh i have this one at r2 i got nothing too crazy i have elegy r2 which some of these weapons i, I really do regret because i kind of want to have an extra copy and at the early games i just i really just said it and refined all these weapons 
and it wasn't until of course wolf gravestone that i didn't do that four stars are different you know there are different can of worms like i can r5 them as much as i possibly want because you know they're four stars but still five stars i have a few regrets because of the r5 or the refinement but aside from that that seems to be about it artifacts i don't really have that much like i do have fodder for me to use there's some that i could potentially level up but for the characters that i have they're not really good for i need to have more better luck resources as you can see resources are pretty low for a good majority of the stuff i don't really have anything crazy for me to use or even have like a, i don't really farm for anything of that sort like i don't pre-farm or i don't constantly use i'm, I'm not resin efficient is this essentially is what i'm going at food i don't even touch this mechanic like i don't i barely use this at all like maybe here and there to like heal or to revive but i don't cook at all um of course more other the other resources they're pretty low of <laughs> fish barely any fish of course just man just fodder fodder just fodder oh oh no 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 hold on yeah look i don't even have fragile resin i used that just so i could potentially build up any of the characters that i have and now i'm down to only two from i don't even i don't remember when was the last time i used my fragile resin but i pretty much just wasted everything and now i'm only down to two so when i say i don't have resources i really don't have resources like that and like <sighs> I don't know like my account just could be so much better and hopefully I can get to that point where I could upgrade all these characters and honestly just embrace my inner whale and just truly be just like just put my money's worth into these characters that I, I want to dedicate uh, so much time with because like as you can see like for example like Navia she's so I, I like she's such a cool character to use like i like her battle axe like i her weapon is so cool it's one of like obviously it's one of the most unique ones that we have in the game at the moment but like still it's just like it's such a cool weapon and i just want to i like using her and of course her little gun thing and just like stuff like that characters like that that i want to use like stuff like farina the fact that she can even change her weapon her elegance whenever in her animations even like old characters it's like all beto it's just like i want to make sure i can use him very efficiently and like his animations are cool he has a cool design his kit in general is just like overall helpful in some cases it's just like these characters deserve the love that they just they need they need a better owner than what i've been giving them in this account there's only like a few characters that i can say that are good but most of the time it's i it's just not good but yeah hopefully i can get around to seeing which other care or which the characters i can actually truly start building with and hopefully i can make up my mind soon so i can just start my way and actually start this journey and of course have you guys witness this pitiful journey of redemption on this account just so i can not feel guilty for the amount of money i have spent but yeah before i guess before i, I guess i start ending this all i'm gonna try to uh, i guess i'm gonna just show y'all my pity when was the last time I got anything I'm right now I'm trying to get in the heater but it's not like I'm a whale or do anything cuz I'm gonna try my best not to I actually want to be efficient with my resources and actually start saving stuff I do want to use I do want her but I can't get too ahead of myself I really can't but let me see where my pity is at I'm pretty sure the last character I got was probably yeah Navia or whatever her name is funny umbrella girl I'm pretty sure she was the last character that I got, but I don't even know when was the pity. Let me see. Yeah, Navia was the last character that I managed to get. But even then, 
I've just been on and off with this game so much. Like occasionally I log in just to do some meaningless tasks. But yeah. But with that being said, I'm gonna just call it a day. And yeah. See how things go from now on. But yeah, later. <laughs>